Now the question is, who are we at war with? Well, there's this concept of um, malign foreign influence, MFI, whatever you want to call it. And yes, who is malign? Well, uh, all kinds of opponents out there. Then there's evidence that Russia has used um, deep fakes, um, bots, um, malicious content, disinformation to uh, destabilize, to confuse, um, to attack front runners. It is trying to make the public uncertain what's going on because in so doing, um, it slows progress, particularly progress that might lead towards Euro-Atlantic integration. It's very easy to say that yes, Putin and Russia today, they are Kremlin's tool and we're good with it. And it's kind of more easy to identify that they are disinformation tools. But there are lots of um, online outlets that are operating on Georgian language, on Ukrainian, um, everywhere, and that are financed by the uh, Kremlin and the Russian government. Um, and here, so we should be assessing disinformation as a national security threat. As for example, tanks are national security threats. This information is the same. It's not the short-term uh, perspective, but in the mid and long perspective, it can be more dangerous than bombs and bullets.